We're building a traditional cabin bunkhouse on our property in the remote woods. We've established a screw pile foundation that's four feet below the frost line. All the logs have been joined to create the first and second floor, and this week we're tying it all together. Oh, I love it. have never gone up so quick. Bird mouse what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. These are such little root boards. Um, so here's the thing. If I line this up to the edge of these boards, you would assume it's level and straight, right? Should you assume? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Like, looks pretty level to me. So. Cool. Throw a bunch of screws in. We're putting on the roof planks. These are a tongue and groove, just like the floorboards and the whole rest of the bunkie. Piece by piece, we're gonna make our way all the way across. Times two, we got two sides. How good does the rain feel? Unbelievably good. <laughs> we are loving working in the rain. I feel like I'm a flower blooming right now. My hair here does look like something. is done and normally we would continue on the same side and finish off one half of the roof before we go to the next side but it's slippery up there I don't want to go on a roof while it's slippery so we are uh, gonna do this part because we don't need to go on the roof as we have the upper loft second floor which makes it really easy to do this side of the roof Mother Nature has been flirting with us all day, giving little peaks of sun. Yeah, we just ran inside. Downpour, thunder, and lightning. Only have half the roof on. Oops. Distraction. Do you even know there's a thunderstorm anymore? He doesn't look like your ears. Distraction, is he? Good girl. This is definitely a cold summer day. Summer's going. Did you have fun? Summer's going. It was so hot yesterday, and now it's, it's like fall. This is a Nova Scotia summer vibe, you know? This is a fall day. Well, we have to get through. 
listeners. Looks stunning. Stunning in here, eh? Wow. Good job. High vaulted ceilings. Lady on the roof. You too. But now we uh, need our roofing ladder. Good job, Biggie. Good job, Biggie. I feel like I had it easier. <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? I don't know. We've decided it's ladder time. <laughs> That's what you told me to say. So I said it like you said it. I like it. That's what you look like. <laughs> We've decided it's ladder time. <laughs> We've decided it's ladder time. <laughs> okay, let's okay, go. Like too much sugar. You can't say mangoes are too much sugar, Krista, when you eat candy on them. I just ate 15 mangoes. Yeah, but you also eat like a pack of Skittles. No, not in one sitting. I always savor my Skittles. I don't know. <laughs> now the big decision. Where do we want it? Right. We have something going there. We have something going on this back wall and we have something going right here. So, what are we left with? Ladder has its home and we've made our own railings. We decided not to follow the instructions and we just did our own thing and I like it. Couple two by fours, call it a day. Naturally, ladder time's over and it's window time. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this week's video. We love travel, we love languages, we love learning, and Rosetta is the perfect place to start. They have so many different languages available to you with their lifetime subscription. It's 50% off and they give you access to all languages for life. No renewal fees. You can learn languages for the rest of time. <laughs> Wish I could speak their language. That's one language. <laughs> that Rosetta Stone doesn't offer. <laughs> there is 1,440 minutes in a day and it takes only 15 minutes a day to learn a new language with Rosetta. It's really incredible what 15 minutes can do. I'm currently learning Portuguese with Rosetta and as most of you know, I speak Spanish and when I started learning when I was 17, my brother actually gifted me a CD-ROM from Rosetta Stone. So they've been a part of my life for a really long time. I think it's an incredible thing to learn another language and they have a very unique, engaging learning learning approach where it's immersion based. It feels very natural. You'll be able to learn faster and retain more through their interactive activities, through their pictures and the audio from native speakers. Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, German for 50% off your lifetime membership. Click the link in the description. It's almost lunchtime too. Quite fitting to do this. What are you serving? A garden fresh salad, farm to table. <laughs> Seed to table. Seed to table. I got you the triangle. I guess you got a triangle there. Yep. Nice, girl. I can't wait to sit here. Yep. Oh, I'm better. I can take it off. Clipper. She's smart. So many more. This is so nice for a little visit. Yeah. It's just so nice like in the summer, like they can be hanging in there and you can be here chatting to them. Mm -hmm. You can bring them coffee. They can make their own coffee soon. Hint, hint. Okay. I love it. Wanna do the front frame? No, I wanna have a lot of them later. Just the other day, we had our very first big harvest of the summer. This is a perfectly ripe lemon cucumber. It's about the size of my fist. It's yellow, it's still hard, and now is the time to go on my belly. First one of the season. Looks like a tennis ball. That's what they say. It's gonna be so tasty. The thing about a lemon cucumber is it's obviously a lot like a cucumber and a lemon, so it's very, very refreshing. That's good because I don't think either are very good. What? 
See, there's another one coming. Lemons or cucumbers by themselves. I wish I had another bowl for the tomatoes. They're gonna get squished in here. Such little tomatoes on this spot. It's also important to pick right now because the rain's coming. It can split your tomatoes to look like that. We can't see it. You can't see it? I can see it now. Yeah. This is gonna be a yummy salad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, beans. <laughs> okay, shall we? Should I pick all of them? And then we can like saute them in butter. What are you doing? Is a long cucumber in your <laughs> pocket? You're a weirdo. Had to drop your bowl, there were so many, eh? There's so many. Hi, Izzy. Very happy with the outside harvest already. Full bowl. Now time for the inside harvest. I spy on my vegetables every day. Another lemon cucumber. I'm gonna pick some nasturtiums for later, yeah? Yeah, and basil. How much basil should I pick? A lot. Greenhouse is too hot for you, eh, Bella? Are you Velcro dog? Yeah. We love it. Can you see me? <laughs> Happy gardener. And I'm so excited to taste those cukes. So pretty. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Lemon cucumber, everyone. Oh my, oh my. Let's try it. The lemon cuke. From seed to table. Mmm, so crunchy. Mmm, try them. The cucumber finally figured it out. It's refreshing. With the lemon. <laughs> Love. Clean up on aisle lettuce. You look like a bear, bear. Or a cow, I'm not sure. I agree. Bella eating lettuce. Beans. Beans. Good little spin. It looks so good. We boiled the beans in broth and then we just sauteed them after a little bit. We got salad with sausage. Oh yeah, those are so good. So, so good. And now that it's complete, I want to continue a small six foot wide road pathway for the tractor to get back towards the spa area, back behind the cabin even further. It can also be a walking trail, an ATV trail. It's going to be much smaller than the road, but it's going to be really nice to get all the way over there as well. So once it's done, I'll give you the real, I'll walk down it like it's a walkway. Runway. like this road is the Larry Crystal and Nameless Kubota Road. They want to keep on going and keep on working. Work horses, they all are. This dog loved trampolines. As soon as she heard me jump on the trampoline, she came running. Loves it. I think it's because when she used to play competitive frisbee, I would train with her on the trampoline so she would land on all fours instead of the dun dun and then hurt her joints. So maybe it's just Bella, but I don't know. Let me know if anyone else's dog loves it. Anywho, back on track. You look like you're making a path for this exact excavator. Yeah. Do you think it's yours? <laughs> It actually, I looked at it, I was like, it's so perfect. <laughs> Aww. Don't get too attached. I know. Looks like Izzy's back. She's rolling down the driveway. Izzy did a lot of shopping today. Izzy! Maya went to Canadian Tire. They had a plant sale. I blame Izzy. How amazing is this road? Like, delivery to the bunkie. <laughs> With the roofing. That's why I went to town, Izzy. 
left the car without me and did her own shopping. I'm so happy you love the road. I know, I wasn't game, but now look at it. It's my favorite thing we did. It just opens it right up so you can have a garden. No. Besides the bunkie. But honestly, like, I got paint, I've got decking boards, I screw everything. Like, this is, is, I think there's another thing of paint. You know, like, front door is right there. Super easy. Painting in the trees, sap all in the hair. I did want more volume, but not this much. Oh, we have been painting all day. Look at the time. And that's all we have left. Just the top of the triangle, everyone. It's probably hard to look at that when I look like this. We have big plans for the inside and the outside of this bunkie. We managed to get paint on all four sides of the exterior. It looks phenomenal, sorry, stain, except for one side. One side doesn't look so phenomenal. We went a little thick. This is what it's supposed to look like. You can see the grain through the stain. And then this here is very much white. Cannot see the wood any longer. We really love the vibe of this, this stain. It's nice and light, it just looks like this, yeah, it looks like wood still, so. Hopefully the sander works, and you're probably looking at this stain being like, this looks awfully familiar. Well, it's very close to the color we have inside our cabin. We don't have the right sandpaper, so we're gonna move on. And today we're gonna do Crystal's favorite thing. Tight squeeze for the big machine. If you guessed gardening, you were right. Crystal is starting by digging our garden bed nice and quick because we have the excavator. We had to inch our way in between the bunkie and the cabin. Quite nerve wracking, but she is definitely the wife for the job. Slow and steady and repositioning yourself is definitely the key to digging this. That was incredibly fast. Within a few minutes, we have a garden bed ready to be planted. We're landscaping the bunkie. No wonder landscapers have excavators. Little baby cedar. We're gonna do two right by the deck for some privacy from the other trees. And these little baby <laughs> cedars grow three to five feet, feet? Not meters, that'd be crazy. A year, which is real fast. I saw them in someone's cart and I said, where did you get the junior giant cedars? And they showed me. They're trying to make a privacy wall from people, I think. Anyways, they, the big point of me talking right now is we got these for $6. Canadian. That's like four USD. We have our tall plants in the back and now we are going to be going in with all these little ones in the front. And I'm sure we'll go transplant some of our big beautiful flowers out of our front gardens. Right Crystal? Right. Right, because they're really gorgeous and yellow and blooming and I love them so much. Normally I'm the one in the machine and all I have to say is, Crystal, I appreciate you, girl. Look at her go. Oh wow, look at that garden. It's pretty. The gardens are 
Wait, what gardens? Gardens? What do you mean by gardens? Garden. We did a second one over There's there, everyone. one on the other side of the bunkie. It's gonna look so cute. They're planted, we're sweating. Now we're gonna get in our machines and we're gonna mulch them, cause they're ready. working together. What a team, eh? Kubota! K -k Kubota! Oh wow, that was easy. I'm actually out of breath from running after the camera. Oh. Not doing any labor. This is not a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Thanks for watering. Looks gorgeous. Look who's out. Hello, Izzy. Hello, supervisor. Hey. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. The smallest details matter so much. The skirt just pulled this entire... Sorry, I'm talking. It's like a spooky movie. <laughs> Was that wind? Or the ghost of the bunkie? <laughs> the skirt pulled the bunkie together. We only have the front on and it just looks amazing. It's like when you wear a skirt with your outfit. Skirts are like the vibe this year, aren't they? They <laughs> are. so good, by the way. I bought three and I don't even have a skirt. Never had one. Three this year. Got them for two dollars, right? Cool girl. Huh? Cool girl. Well, actually, Crystal found them mm -hmm. <laughs> for two dollars each. These are nice screws. Well, they call them Deck Elite. They are elite screws. I don't know if anyone has used, like, you have Phillips, I think it is. Square Squarehead. Head. Robinson, not sure. Squarehead. Then you, yeah. And then you have the Torque. Torques are far superior. These are so nice. But in Canada, we were only able to find like the big ones. I was never able to find all of these and came across it the other day. Let me tell you. I love this brand. We never used to buy a high quality screw. What a difference when you're building. What a difference. Literally. Excavators are good for everything. Bringing in material, landscaping, flattening this area to build stairs. Good work. My moms have been leveling for about three hours now. It's been an hour, Izzy. She's their dog, she can't tell time. And it's gonna be worth it. Because then you, miss, are gonna be able to come up into the bunkie with ease. No more jumping. Can you hear it? There's a steady sound Getting louder as a feet touch down Follow the night until it's ringing out loud Cause we found, we found, we found, we found Something to hold on to now Proud of you. So we hold The stairs look nice, Mama. We are working with two different types of stair stringer hangers. This one, which is on the little pivot. It's a dollar more, so I normally don't buy it. But these are the best. But they only had seven, right? Yeah. So. They take a lot of 
Dry screws. Just like the hurricane ties that on here. But guess what everyone? What do we have? Two drivers! <laughs> we'll get this done quick. Well, it's a good thing the hardware store ran out when I had to get these, because I just made a connection. Those other stringers that I buy take 24 screws, and these ones only take 16. Hardware adds up. These would actually be cheaper in the long run. It's the Bella and Izzy show! Uh oh, the supervisors are out. Okay, well get the drill in your hand because it's time to put on some swinger hangers. Hey, 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 hey!